Okay. Skill tree. So we got innovator. Uh, web throw. Hold triangle to grab and throw webbed and electrified enemies. They can be tossed into other enemies or walls. Okay. Oh. Skill points. Got it. Got it. Defender. Press circle just as your spider sense turns blue to counter enemies with a web shot to the face. Generates bonus focus points. Hold square well in the air to swing kick enemies and send them flying. Uh, oh boy, these are a lot of options. Huh. You can throw rockets back at enemies. That's gonna be interesting. So, gun yank. Ooh, extended perch takedown range. That might be kind of helpful for stealth and stuff. Web throw knocks down enemies during the windup. Ooh, clearing the immediate area. That might be helpful. Uh, oh boy, there's a lot here. Now are these the only ones? Yeah, these are the only ones. I think I'm gonna head for Innovator. Because I want to get Extended Perch Takedown. If I can grab it. Oh, let's grab the uh, Stealth Takedowns. Okay, what else do we have? Let's grab, let's grab this one. Square and then hold triangle to grab and throw in an enemy in any direction. That might be kind of cool. I'm gonna do Defender though, cause I wanna, I actually wanna head down for Vengeance. Uh, okay, there we go. What else do we have? Moves list, oh God. This is going to become a problem. I can just tell it. Well, we'll figure this out later. My... Okay, there we go. Parker, where are you? The committee will be here soon. We need to run an equipment check. I'm almost there. Blocks away. Uh, guess I'll just do it myself. No, don't. It's not safe. Ugh. This ain't going to end well, is it? Gotta love Doc's enthusiasm, but sometimes it gets him into trouble. Better get there before he hurts himself. Hold L3 in the air to dive. Okay, so that's how we do it. I'm not sure how much I'm gonna wanna do this just because. I'm curious what happens when we truly, uh, like, when we truly face plant on these things? Like, what happens if we just nosedive straight into the ground? Do we die? I hope not. I mean, it'd be funny. Oh, Dr. Octopus? It could be Dr. Octopus. I hope it's not Dr. Octopus. I don't think this has Dr. Octopus in it, though. We'll see. Still haven't gotten the chance to talk about it. I'm sorry I'm late. It is Dr. Octopus. started without me. The Grant Committee's director will be here soon. It's fine, Parker. I invented this equipment. I think I can handle it. Power damper. Oh, man. Um, maybe we should abort. Not yet. Hold on! Ah, Dr. 
Dr. Octavius, are you okay? <coughs> Another setback. <coughs> But we're close. Is anyone hurt? No, it, it, it was all the, my fault. The energy levels exceeded our expectations. From a certain viewpoint, that's a very positive development. It doesn't smell very positive. I assure you, in the next phase... Let's not get ahead of ourselves. <coughs> Is there somewhere else we can discuss this? Maybe you should take the rest of the day off, Peter. But we'll talk later. That was a disaster. How could the dampener have failed? I know Doc said take the day off, but I have to figure out what went wrong. Ooh, you are in bad shape, little guy. Let's see what's wrong with you. I really like Dr. Octopus when he's not inherently evil. Unfortunately, he almost always goes evil and crazy. And so I really like Dr. Octopus when he's like the flawed doctor individual, like kind of the pre uh, going crazy and becoming like one of the supervillains. I, you know, weirdly enough, I think that's actually true of most of the Spider-Man villains. I don't actually like them when they're villains. I like them when they're not the villains, if that makes sense. So anyway. Circuit burned out. Damn it. If I had been here to do the pre-check, I would have caught this. Okay, so it's just Pipe Dream. Wow, it really is just Pipe Dream. Well, at least it's the nicest pipe dream I've ever I've ever seen. But it, it really is just pipe dream. It's a bit lame. I'll have to tell Keith. <laughs> I don't know. Pipe dream is like Got the most it. common uh common puzzle in games okay, ever. I need to reroute servo control. Superior Spider-Man was neat. I'm looking forward to Superior Octopus. He was. I I hated the Superior Spider-Man um, arc, I think. Oh. Um, I hated the Superior Spider-Man arc, I think. Because I found it... Um, it was stressful. Even though, like, I knew everything was going to go right in the end... I still was like, I was still kind of eh about it part way through. I think it was kind of one of those where uh, Superior Spider-Man was the uh, was the last time I actually had been reading Spider-Man. Uh, nice. Okay, what next? Like. Okay, I'm gonna stop and read this for, or read this, talk about this for a second. So, I read every single Spider-Man comic with, it, over the course of, like, a summer. And that was the summer that Superior Spider-Man was being produced. And so, I, I ran out of comics at the halfway point, and I actually had to wait for the individual issues to come out. And it drove me nuts. Because, like, most of the other ones, yeah, you can just kind of sit back and relax and whatever. But that was, that was probably my favorite arc of Spider-Man. Um, kind of everything around the Superior Spider-Man arc just felt really good. The Superior Spider-Man lost a lot of viewers. I mean, go figure. He was an absolute asshole, but it had me on edge. Um, but no, I like, I like semi-modern Spider-Man kind of, uh, I guess I want to almost say it's like Iron Man light, where he's like, he's actually working a good tech job. He's not, you know, poor, uh, you know... Paycheck to paycheck, doing photography for J. Jonah Jameson. Um, you know, I prefer the Spider-Man that is actually, like, employed at a tech place, using, you know, his actual uh, intelligence and so on and so forth, as opposed to just, like, you know, moonlighting as Spider-Man and pour his dirt otherwise. Even though I know that's his roots. Though, I will admit, I do like... Oh, shoot, which one was it? 
There's a... There's a... It's like a mini-series where Spider-Man's like a teenager or something like that. And he's like... Early high school, late middle school, something like that. Like, really young. Um... Ah, uh, push me to the edge. Parker Industries is dead. Yeah, I figured as much. I'll, uh, I, I gotta go back and read the Spider-Man comics. You know, actually, this would be a decent opportunity for me to go catch up. Um, but, uh, there was one arc. I don't remember where, which issue it was or whatnot, but, um, it was, Spider-Man was going after, uh, some goons. I don't even remember if they were associated with a specific villain group or anything like that. Uh, but he tricked one guy. He, like, you know, kind of did the Professor Xavier, like, touch his temples thing. And and the the goon is like, w w what are you doing? And he's like, shh, I'm summoning the spiders. And then the spider comes down, down to panics. I loved that. That was... I think that's probably one of my favorite arcs. I think that was the same run that had uh, Deadpool and Spider-Man, but I could be wrong. I don't know about my favorite Spider-Man villain, though. Many of them are just kind of pointlessly evil for no good reason. Yeah, there's a Spider-Man series where he's married to Mary Jane, has a daughter, and has a stable life. That series is one of the best sellers. Yeah, Spider-Man was always characterized by, like, a lot of pointless drama, you know. Oh no, Mary Jane. Oh no, Aunt May. And, like, after a while, I got kind of fatigued by that. Uh, and I'd love to see... Uh, I'd love to read those. I don't know, I'll probably resubscribe to the... Uh, the archives or something. Yeah, if people want to suggest Spider-Man stuff for me to read, I'd absolutely love to go back to it. Because, yeah, I've only really read the mainline stuff. I never really got into any of the alternate Spider-Mans. You know, Spider-Noir, uh, Future Spider-Man, uh, anything related to Miles Morales. I don't know. Eh. Anyway. Let's keep uh, let's keep progressing for a little bit, and then I'll brush up now on my spider knowledge. The voltage. Okay, in order to set the power voltage control, you must also meet the charge requirements. Some circuit pieces provide. Okay, so it's just positive, positive or negative charges. Uh, let's see. Right, this is how you rotate. Okay, and then target voltage is. Actually, this. Finished. Let's see if that worked. Good as new. Doc's been testing new materials for the prosthetics. He asked me to review his work if I had time. May as well dig in now. Today's the day. Grant review. We're ready. The work has progressed at a remarkable pace. I honestly never thought we'd get the tensile actuator back to an acceptable tolerance. But Parker... The boy has an eye for guerrilla science like none other. Just as I was ready to order a custom machine replacement part, he returned from the hardware store with a bottle of solvent and a toothbrush. Bang! Actuator problem resolved. The boy is a genius. <sighs> a chronically late genius. It's already ten after. Where is he? Surely he couldn't have forgotten today's review. Sorry I let you down, Doc. I guess we've got audio logs to find. Alright. Peter. Thank you again for doing these blind reviews. Peer review is the backbone of great science. You know, as we've prepped for the upcoming fitting, I felt an itch in the back of my brain. Is this really the best method of limb replacement? Silly, I know, but I keep thinking, might there be another way? I do appreciate that they're showing Octavius when he's not uh, straight up evil. Like, there are some, like, the Rhino that I don't think they'll let, you'll ever be able to write. I don't think the Rhino will ever be an interesting or nuanced character. He's always going to be a boring thug. 
I know Mr. Negative is at least in part the villain of this game. How many have we seen now, Otto? Three? Four? That's how you know we're progressing. Out of the ashes of failure, great science is born. Don't think Dr. Octavius' optimism has ever been shaken. You know, just yesterday, we saw an extraordinary reaction cascade in the Limbic Bridge. We're looking for results, not cascades, Doctor. And results you'll have. Trust me, our work grows more promising every day. That reaction cascade was pretty awesome. Was your research assistant late today? What sort of staff are you employing with our money, Doctor? I'll ask you to leave Peter out of this, please. He's young, still learning, but he's indispensable. A genius in the making. Wow. Thanks, Dr. Octavius. Okay, that's the end of it. I'm just gonna keep looking around because we got a lot of like collectibles and audio logs. Doc's made huge breakthroughs his whole career, but he's always been upstaged, usually by Oscorp. This time, it's going to be different. I like the uh, little audio logs and like the little Easter eggs and side bits here. It's nice. Graduation. It feels so long ago. Yeah. I interned for Doc in college. He made me realize I could do as much good for the world in a lab coat as I could in tights. Maybe more. I think we've got samples of every type of prosthetic in existence. There's so much. Our first volunteer subject, Lance Corporal Texador. Lost his arm overseas and now just wants to hug his daughter again. So much. Not that I'm particularly grumpy about that. It's amazing how quickly the prosthesis has evolved. I remember when our prototype used parts I ripped out of an old microwave. Lots of late nights in this lab. Glad Doc keeps the snacks stocked up. Love the coffee at work. God bless that grant money. All right, well. Doc was testing a new contact material for the prosthetic. Anyway. Okay, your goal is to identify the unknown substance by its absorption spectrum. Use fragments of the unknown substance and try and match the absorption lines in the spectrum. Use left stick to move your cursor, pick up a fragment. Place the fragment into an available slot and try and match up the absorption lines. Uh, I mean, it's gonna be this one. That much is obvious. Huh. Weird mini games. I was expecting more Spider Man, less Parker, but I don't mind this. Hydrogel polymer composite. Strong, but there's a lot of impedance. Better tell Doc to keep looking for other materials. All right. I should get out of here before I screw things up for Doc even more. Do, do, do. I w uh, yeah, I always hate uh, loading screens. Especially when they don't do the press X to continue, because I never know when they're going to end, and I'm immediately going to get thrown into dialogue. It's like, it's not so bad, but still. Not worth nearly as much EXP, but then again, we spent significantly less time doing it. Spider-Man, it's Yuri. Fisk make it to Rikers yet? Not Rikers. Our boy qualifies for the VIP treatment. He's in the raft. Ah, joining Scorpion, Electro, and the rest. Fisk should be honored. That's a steam company. Can you swing by the precinct? Got an issue that could benefit from your unique skill set. For you, Yuri, anything. I'm on my way. I do find it really refreshing that Spider-Man... Huh. Looks like Jameson's got a new episode out. I wonder what my number one fan thinks about the Fisk takedown. This is Just a Facts with J. Jonah Jameson, where listeners like you discuss the issues affecting our city with Pulitzer Prize winning two-time! Two-time. Pulitzer Prize winning former publisher of the Daily Bugle. Hey! Plug the book! And... And as always, 
If you order Mr. Jameson's book, Spider-Man, Threat, or Menace, within 24 hours of our broadcast, you'll get an autographed copy at no extra charge. No personalizations, don't ask, not gonna get it. Welcome to Just the Facts with J. Jonah Jameson, alerting you to the threats you don't even know about. Let's dive right into the calls. Me. Okay, so not for nothing, you gotta give Spider-Man respect for taking down Wilson Fitz, right? I mean, one last mob boss is good for everyone. Is that right? Tell me, are you a police officer? Prosecutor? Maybe an award-winning reporter with decades on the job like me? Uh, no, I'm a plumber. Oh, good. And fix my toilet and shut up! Let me explain something to you about crime bosses. Soon as one goes down, every punk with a gun, a tracksuit, and a drawer full of gold chains decides he's the next godfather. We're gonna have a gang war in the streets, but does that whip-headed moron give a damn? Of course not. He got on TV. That's what counts. <laughs> yeah, well, I can get copper pipe without paying kickback. So till that gang war starts, I'm on the webhead side. And you'll be singing a different tune when three new mobs are lining up to charge you triple for that same pipe. Or just break your legs. Goodbye! <sighs> so now that you quit smoking, what do you tell people when you come up here? That I need a break from their crap. Fair enough. So, why'd you call? Need a date to the policeman's ball? You got a black and white suit? Uh... No ball this year anyway. We spent too much integrating Oscorp surveillance tech. Worth it though, right? It was. Till an hour ago. The well, system went down. Citywide. Every tower. How? They tell me someone sabotaged the central server, and now all the towers are offline. Hmm. Inside job? Maybe. We'll figure it out later. Right now, we need to get the towers back online. Fast. And you called me? Aw, that's sweet. I called someone I could trust. Plus, the signals are scrambled and we have no idea how to fix it. Ooh. I love a challenge. You break it, you buy it. I thought you trusted me. I like... Let's take a look at this tower. I like the writing for this game. They're definitely nailing the Spider-Man is snarky and people around him actually have a personality. Let's see, wonder if you ever read Worm. I... Worm is a really slow burn. It gets really good later on, but I'm still stuck in the doldrums of early. Input bands have been shifted. Subtle. Well, here's some open world garbage to do. We just had a tower come back online. Was that you? Not just a pretty mask, huh? Whatever you did, any chance you could do it to the other towers? Sure, but just so you know, I had to sync up with the tower to fix it. I'm seeing all crime data in the area now. Looks like there's a break-in happening near me. Great, I've got units nearby. Don't bother, I'm on it. Do it! Watch my back. Pretty sure these guys didn't forget their keys. Not that impressive. Impr Enemies with melee weapons block most attacks, but are vulnerable to air launch attacks, webs, and throwable. Well, I am already making a mess of things. But that's okay. They only have melee weapons. But I'm also kind of still crap at this game. It's gonna take some getting used to. Bonk. Bonk. Oh, and it's the last one. Alright, well that makes it easier. Crime tokens. Okay, wrapped up. Thanks for that. Now I'm seeing an assault near you. You're in luck, Yuri. Your favorite tough but lovable grizzled seen too much detective is in town. What? No, 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 no. You promised you wouldn't do that any- Spider cop. 
Please, no. I. So you're the snitch. Back off, creep. Yep, she's the one. I said back off. Leave me alone. Keep me quiet, lady. Don't touch me. Help! Help! Get away from her. Brutes will block your melee attacks. Use webs and throwables to make them vulnerable. So Fisk. What is this? Don't make me hurt you. Ow. 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 I will crush your tiny Ow. Ow. Okay. This is ow. Well, this is going great. Nope. Died. I This is going great. Oh, right. Oh, I can knock him out. It just takes some effort. I'm still working on this. Walk away now, or she's dead. Let me go. Okay, save the hostage before time runs out. Use the left stick to aim. What the? That it's not even attached. Oh, well. wee! Property damage. All clear, ma'am. I knew Jameson was wrong about you. You're a little weird, but you got a good heart. Have you got somewhere to go? I can take care of myself. I I'm sure you can, but just in case, there's a place called the Feast Center. Seen it. I don't want charity. They got the best wheat cakes in the city, hands down. Mom used to make those. I haven't had any in a long time. I'll check it out. Thanks, spider guy. It's... Spider-Man. Oh well. Should be able to spot the next tower from up there. I kind of want this to open up after a certain point, just so I can, um... Just so I can have the opportunity to, uh... Uh... Commentate? Because, ho oh, damn, I'm loving this from game. elevated position, Spider-Cop spies his destination. A second surveillance tower. Are you... narrating yourself? What? No! Of course not! The Chief never did understand Spider Cop. Thought he was a loose cannon. Already regretting this. I really, I really love the writing for this. They're nailing, they're nailing Spider, Spider Cop Man, Cop, Cop, Cop Man. Like, they're, they're really nailing the, uh, the personality. Okay, L2 to aim, R2 to, oh. Uh, are we within range, or...? Nope, I gotta go up. Alright, can I...? X? X. X. There we go. Too many things. Bet I can modify these towers to track more than just crimes. There we go. I just, I need a moment to talk, but I'm not going to get it. Score! Towers are picking up all kinds of RFID signals now, including one nearby. What is that? We Free fall. Hello. Oh, it's just a random backpack, isn't it? Uh, oh, so it is. Wait, what? Oh, wow. One of my old backpacks from high school. Forgot I attached tracking dots to these. Wonder how many of these are scattered around the city. How many backpacks? Wait, no, that's like thousands of dollars in backpacks. Find backpacks, earn backpack tokens, which you can spend to you uh spend to craft better gear. That's 
That's too much. Peter Parker, this is why you're poor.